Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be one, if not the most epic Sephora haul I've ever done on this channel, and it's actually impromptu. I was not expecting to film at all. I just got back from Sephora, fixed my hair, did a little bit more makeup enhancement, and I decided to film a video because I posted my shopping bags and how I went off at Sephora for today on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me. It's just the same name as this, at only Yumo. Um, but basically, a lot of you ended up requesting for me to do a haul video. And it's crazy that I wasn't even planning on doing so because I do these every single year. But I think it's because I was a little put off by when the VIB Rouge sale went on this year. Usually it's in the middle of November. For some reason this year, they did it the first week of November. So I was not prepared and I think this is why this haul is a little more epic than usual because I didn't have a strategy like I normally do. So I kind of just bought everything. Really, that's what happened. Like I had someone work on my face like an actual representative and I ended up purchasing basically everything she told me to. So that is why I have this haul for you. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then keep on watching. All right. So let's just get into these bags. I have a large one and I have a medium one right here, which also has a mini Jo Malone in there. I'm gonna get into the big one first because it just has one thing in it, which is <laughs> the most impulse buy I think I've ever done. I was like, you know what? I've wanted this for so long. The sale is on. Let me just do it. Um, I've been killing my hair with a lot of heating products and I feel like this is going to help a little bit. And if it is true that it does dry your hair within five minutes, then I did good for myself. But I finally picked up a Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. I've heard a lot of good things about this and I just never thought that I needed it and I thought 20% off for this now couldn't be a better time to get it. So I got one and I'm excited to play around with this later on. So now moving along with the medium bag which has most of the goodies in it. The first thing I got is a Jo Malone perfume. It's really cute how they actually packaged it as if you went to a department store, but they also do this at Sephora, which I thought was adorable. And inside, I picked up my fall scent, which I wear every single fall, and it is the Velvet Rose and Oud, which is funny. I thought I was out of it, that's why I bought it, but I came home and I found that I have like probably five months worth of it but it's actually right here um i would say this would last me a while <laughs> but i got it anyway it's always good to have more than less so it's packaged like this and then inside is the velvet rose and oud this is my favorite scent it's very sexy very spicy very kind of christmasy i would say that's why i really like the scent, there's something about oud that just reminds you of like fall and winter. And so this is my fall scent and it has been for I think three years now. I normally just wear this from I think November to February. I got a set of brushes. I am a sucker for white brushes, like white bristles. Is that what you call those? Oh, I love this camera now. I can actually show you guys up close instead of doing the whole manual focusing, but I love this. Um, this is called the Holiday, I think. This is their Merry Metal. So it's actually their Holiday Collection brushes and I'm so excited. I'm going to start using these with the other products that I purchased, which I will show you next. But basically it has all your basics. You have the powder brush, you have a highlighting brush, you even have some eye brushes in there. I think this is really good for a starter kit as well. Now I had a really sweet lady help me out with my makeup and that's why I ended up purchasing a lot more than I probably would have. Um, but she actually works for Glass. Glow, so she ended up 
testing these out on me and I fell in love. I picked up the Glam Glow Glow Starter, which is basically like a primer, but it's also a moisturizer that has like illuminating effects on it, if that makes any sense. But apparently, which I hope is true, um, it really helped clear her skin because not only is it like a base, like a primer, it's also like a legitimate moisturizer that has skincare benefits. And she's been breaking out just like how I've been and she said this really helped a lot. And so that's really what I'm after. If you watch my last vlog, you would know that I've been breaking out like crazy and I don't know why. So I am desperate for something to fix my skin right now so I'm hoping this is one of them so it looks like that and inside it's basically like a nude color I just could you see that I just press some out can you see that oh my god this is like OG like youtuber do you see what I just did there but yeah so it's like um it's like a colored tinted moisturizer but very very sheer it's really just for like the base before you put on your actual makeup i don't know if you could actually use it at night but i'm using it under makeup mainly and then for actual skincare to clarify the skin i got the glam glow super mud clearing treatment which a lot of people swear by so i'm really excited to see if this works out for me and it's just in the little pot that most glam glow mud masks come in so i'm not even going to open it but yeah it just looks like that speaking of masks i'm not going in any particular order obviously um but i got another one of the laneige laneige sleeping lip mask i love this stuff i have the vanilla one that i keep at work and then i keep this next to my bed and i love this stuff this is really just the best for your lips. Um, you don't necessarily just have to wear it at night, um, but obviously it just has like such great consistency that when you wake up, you could still feel it and your lips are just so smooth and soft. But really I wear this throughout the day and I just got again the normal watermelon. Is this watermelon? It smells like watermelon, but yeah. So the original one and then the vanilla one is really good too, but that one I have at work. I guess we're just gonna go through skincare since I have two skincare products here. Um, I just got another one of my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This is my everyday sunscreen. It is basically like the consistency of a primer. So it's amazing, it's clear. And like it says, it doesn't give you that white cast that SPF gives you normally. So I love this stuff. I put it right before my makeup and I feel like it actually helps with your makeup staying. So I love this stuff. This is what I use to remove my makeup every single night. It's the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away. Like literally like a, probably like a pea size of this. Just massage it all over your face and it will get rid of all the makeup. This is new. The top is usually um, like a metal, like a silver. This is white. Did I get the right thing? It is, it's just different packaging. But yeah, I love this stuff. All right, moving on to the exciting makeup. I believe everything else in here is makeup related. First two things are actually presents for my boyfriend's sister. It is her birthday, so we're gonna send her these. We got her the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like this is just the perfect kind of everyday palette for her. Um, I'm gonna open it, I don't think she'll mind. But let me just show you these beautiful colors. Oh my God, I was tempted to get one too, but we all know I don't need one. But yeah, that's how it looks like. Just amazing, warm, and even some cool tones in there. So it's perfect for that. And then we just got her like a little sampler of lipsticks just so it has something else in there for her when we send her the package. So we got her that. These are the Bite Beauty Creamy Color Amuse Bouche. 
I don't know, but these are actually some of my favorite lipsticks, so I thought she would like these too because they're more like natural and really great for your lips, really. So I got her that. It has some nudes, it has some warm tones in there, as well as like some fall darker colors. So I like that as a gift. Next thing is actually the one thing that I wanted to go there for, which is a new tinted moisturizer. I needed a new one, and for some reason, I I was just really craving like an OG favorite, like old school beauty guru YouTube favorite. And it is of course the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And I didn't even know that they did change the packaging. And look at this, it's really cute. It looks more like a skincare now. But yeah, it's still like that simplistic, very classy container like it did have before. Um, but yeah, just, into tint moisturizer to wear every single day. I'm in the color sand. Um, the lady that was helping me actually put on a BB cream from Smashbox, which I liked as well. But this one has more of that moisturizer kind of feel and texture. And so I went for this. Can't go wrong with this. I hope at least. Something that I've always looked at but never got myself to buy just because I don't wear blush or really anything on my cheeks except for bronzer. Um, but I thought it looks so pretty and I've been seeing it everywhere and I'm just like, let me go ahead and just get that during the sale. I got the Charlotte Tilbury, what's the name of this? Swish and Glow Blusher. This is the cheek to chic in the very famous pillow talk and so it looks like this look how pretty that is oh my god oh my god look at that can you even see that it looks very pink on camera but it's more kind of like a like a beigey rose if that makes any sense and then it has kind of like that highlighter color in the middle so then when you swish it all together with your brush it gives that nice glow for some reason Actually, not for some reason. During the fall and winter time is when my skin is very dry. So I like things to be a little more dewy and more highlighter-ish. So that's why I got that. And that is also why I picked up an oldie but a goodie and also an OG beauty guru favorite. It is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm too lazy to get it all the way over there and get up and show it to you. But I've actually hit like a huge dent on my Marc Jacobs, is it the coconut bronzer? Like the, the big one, like literally there's like a huge pan in the middle already that is like seeping through and it's crazy how much I use bronzer. But basically I decided to get a new one and I don't know, I was really just craving. I don't know why I keep using the word craving. Does it make sense in this context? I feel like it does. But yeah, so I was craving a <laughs> Laguna bronzer and I remember loving this so much in high school and I was like, let's get back to those high school days when I had clear skin. So just the usual and that's how it looks like. I feel like everyone <laughs> knows how the Laguna bronzer looks like, but basically just pick that up. Another thing from NARS that I was not expecting to get, but I just could not pass up the beautiful, warm, very fall winter colors. Um, I actually notice that they do not have their eyeshadow duos anymore, which were my favorite. Like I have six of them in my collection. And um, while I was like browsing on the Sephora app, um, for some reason I just felt like looking into their eyeshadows again and I couldn't find them. So I'm guessing they discontinued them and now they have like more of like mini palettes just like this one this is in the color copper and it's basically these warm orangey tones they're picking up a little rosy on camera are they i feel like that's more realistic right there oh my god i love these colors these are literally the colors i wear every single day and i thought if i could get them all in just like a tiny palette like this it's perfect it even has like kind of like a blending color all the way to the left like that that beige one right there it's just oh i love it it's so 
fall if you did not realize yet i am obsessed with fall winter holiday october love it love it all right i think we're getting to the bottom i got a anastasia beverly hills um eyebrow brush i just really really needed one i just got the brow powder duo from ulta literally like three days ago um i was tempted to like return it so i could buy it here and get the 20 percent off but i kind of dug into it twice already but i just needed the brush so i got the brush last but not the least is the cutest thing i definitely did not need but i just really wanted to try the packaging is crazy it is the new it cosmetics lash blowout they partnered up with dry bar that's why the container for it is like a dry bar tool and it basically is supposed to give you lashes with like a blowout volume effect so I'm a sucker for that and I actually like the IT Cosmetics um, mascara that they have, the one they're really famous for, I totally forgot what it's called, but I used to use that until I found a drugstore alternative, but because of this packaging, I thought I should try it anyway, but I'm really excited, I'm going to use this tomorrow, um, but yeah, is that all i have i don't even want to look at my bank account but if i were to really estimate the amount of stuff i bought and how much each of these products are i'm pretty sure it's very close to a thousand dollars so yeah we're going to take a break from makeup shopping and any kind of shopping for a while definitely but yeah, thank you so much for watching me make bad decisions. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so we can keep in touch. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.